everyone welcome back to the channel and a new video a bit strange really i'm starting this one in chris's new audi that he's enjoying very much and we dropped the q5 off to paint about a week ago and he's actually called us that's a shame isn't it the news the news come on now um we'll leave that in chris it's it's real it's traffic yeah so we dropped it off to the paint shop and he's actually called and said it's done but throughout the process he was giving me updates and sending me pictures so we'll include them now and of course pick up as soon as we get there and get it picked up So absolutely incredible, perfect match and everything on it looks lovely. We're really, really happy with that. Obviously nothing's lined up, it's been on and off, on and off. Me and Chris did do the best we could before it went, but we never done it 100% because we know ultimately it all had to be stripped off again before it's all put back on. So just a couple of cable tyres holding it on and the clips down the side there. We're going to get the bumper off, get it on the trellis. It's a trellis, isn't it? Trestle. Trestle, rather. And start the process of swapping everything over from the original bumper to this new one. So like any vehicle we buy, as soon as we bought this one, we run a car vertical on it. We was told it was unrecorded, but you always need to double check. So mileage okay, theft okay, accidents okay, finance okay. This one has all come back fine. What we do know is there is a mileage discrepancy on this vehicle, and I've been working in the background to try and get it sorted. There was a wrong entry, and it was entered in kilometres rather than miles. And if you do the maths there and work it out, you can see where the mistake happened. So it does say possible odometer entry mistake. So not actually a mileage discrepancy. And unfortunately, because it is well over the date now of the 9th, 2021, we cannot go back that far. They only get six weeks in whether to change that MOT when they've entered it in wrong. So that is unfortunate and that is going to stay there now. When checking your vehicle, right at the bottom of this check, there is nine helpful tips and tricks of things to check when you're purchasing your vehicle. Also, this check is performed in various countries, including Germany, Canada, Italy, Spain, Switzerland, United Kingdom, US, Czech Republic, and so on. This is an example. You can see we've recently done this check, and this was a co-park car. Theft, accidents, clearly highlighted there in amber. Guys, if there is any issues with your car, it will always come up in amber on the front page immediately so that you know. Thank Car Vertical once again for the continued support on the channel. To benefit from a 10% discount off your check, use the link in the description or the code SR10 from any browser. There's always one little bit that catches you out, isn't there, guys? We thought we had it all, but it's coming up on the inside of the car, outside air temperature sensor. So I'm just going to grab one off VAG. They are normally quite universal, so I need to grab the plug as well because the plug's actually missing for it, but there's plenty down here. So I just think I'll find the latest thing they got here, VAG, and whip it off of that. Should be fine. Well, that was handy, guys. You have one. Is that the right one for it? I would say it is. I got it off a 13 Ridge Audi A1, new plug and obviously a nice length of wire. And I noticed one of our horn brackets was pretty bent up, so I grabbed one of them as well. Let's head back to the yard. See how Chris is getting on. Moving along there now, guys, but it's the little tedious bits. That is one of the wheel arches that goes onto that wing. 
and Chris has just been there scraping all of that old tape off of it because he thought it was just clipped on but it because it did he pulled the clips off it last time where it's all clipped on and it pretty much fell off but it does have double-sided tape on the back of it as well so it's been a nightmare getting all, all of that tape off also just noticed that that's broke and that goes onto the air box onto the landing panel and so we've had to order one of them from TPS and it's not going to be here for a couple of days which is a shame because that's going to hold us up also the little bonnet bump stops I did order a full set from TPS and we can't find them anywhere Chris can we no oh that's the other wing Chris has just pulled in there I mean We've not been on this too much all day because we kind of got sidetracked, didn't we, when we was meant to start it? Should we, we did. show what we got sidetracked well, on, on? On a new acquisition. Come on then, let's have a look. And then um, I'll tell you what, we'll uh, we'll even include a bit of footage of that because I've got quite a bit. Although yeah. it was in um, it wasn't in landscape, it is what it is. We did record a bit. So we bought a brand new second hand one way yep. container. So this would have been made in China, filled up with goods, and the people actually buy, I don't know how it works, but basically we bought this shipping container. Yeah. Very, very expensive, but they never used to be. I mean, how much was they, Chris, when you bought them? Um, about 550, I think. 550. And let's just say this one was, um, we can say the price, can't yeah. we? It was 3,000 and something plus VAT delivered. I don't, I don't think it was bad though, really, because it is, you couldn't build. No, you can see, it is brand new, isn't it? Yeah. Ready to rack out, all vented. We can say what it eventually is. Yeah, say it, mate, yeah. Temporarily, we're going to use it for storage of parts, but it's the first step towards having our own... Uh, spray booth. Spray booth, um, spray facility, whatever you want to call it. And this would be paint mixing, compressor house, Etc. 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 Et 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 yeah. But at the, for the time being, it's going to be anything we strip off the cars when we're repairing them. I'm going to stand out here because it's really echoing. It is, us. isn't it? But I don't know where it will come out. But normally, camera, we've got but... three, four, five projects on the go at a time, haven't we? You can see it's brand new. Yeah. So we end up with three, four, five cars in bits. Yeah. Um, and it's always a nightmare, isn't it? Piling the bits, finding homes for the bits. We fill the cars up with the bits. Yeah. We can kind of rack it, cage it, and e each project will have its own area and all the bits will go in it. Yeah, definitely, because we don't want to main around the workshop. I mean, we're not going to elaborate on that too much, we've but got, we're, we've yeah. actually got a big, big plan for the workshop yeah, as we well, have. and yeah. fingers crossed that yeah. comes off. It's really yeah. going to create room and make your life a lot easier, and hopefully yep. mine. Yep. So, yeah, new shipping container, guys. Chris, that was pretty impressive, wasn't it? Yeah, well, a, a delivery guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, well, it was. He's he's drove into the gates, and he must have had the nose of his lorry. What do you reckon? Well, he had, reckon? he had yeah. his legs behind those gate posts. He did have his legs going out that way. So and he, he literally craned it up over the camera yeah, but he pole. He craned it off of a trailer, not off the lorry. He did, didn't he? So, the trailer on the back of yeah, it. Yeah. So. so yeah. And Chris didn't record any of this, but he actually come and finished off that hard standing he did all of that yesterday yeah. i was at an appointment yeah. and chris got that done so we had another arctic load of that delivered and it's the other side of the fence so yeah just thought we'd include that but i will include a little bit of that guy lifting that in yeah. i was pretty impressed with that Is it not? Well, looks it, it like it does looks like day. it's doing all right today. Yeah. Lot of money, Chris, but really, really going to help us out. And instant, isn't it? Yeah. Look how steady he is with that. He's done this longer than them ones. He's done it before, hasn't he? He shouldn't be, he's 20 footer. Have you got to put another block of wood this side?
Beautiful. Lovely bit of driving. All we've got to do is put our jack under it. And just, yeah. That, that bit of wood's going to have to be a bit thinner than that. Yeah, definitely. Right. What we've done there, guys, I know some of you are going to say we like to see all of it, but there's, there's only so much time lapse we can do, and we are trying our hardest to put as little in as possible. And it was all stuff that we have done on the channel before. I appreciate there's new people all the time that haven't seen it, but genuinely, we had it all here. We're trying to have a bit of a, actually a massive sort out, you know, with having a new container and getting some cars turned around. And we wanted to just crack on and get this one all gapped up and built up off camera. Because that is, do you know what, Chris? I'm gonna, I think you might actually agree with me on this one. When it comes to a car like this, regardless of the paint, the damage, the panels, the gapping up has got to be one of the most time consuming yeah, it's a bit fiddly. Things to do, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a bit fiddly. But you just got to get it right. On a car like this, it, you know, it wants to look bang on on all cars, but this is a lovely, late, unrecorded 65 reg car, low mileage. It really did pay to buy those nice new grills as well, didn't it? And this front grill actually come from a subscriber. He said he upgraded his to black and reached out to me and sent this one down in the post. We know it's not an SQ5, but... Whoever wants to buy it can whip that off or change it to whatever they want. I suppose it is a Q5 and it is an S line, so... Yeah, I don't know if it's... It's not an SQ5, though, is it? That's the super-duper one. But really, really does look the part now. Still waiting on a couple of little tiny bits from TPS to arrive. We thought we had everything, but we found a broken air duct that goes outside. And there's actually some little bonnet stays that... Not bonnet stays, what would they be called? adjusters yeah height adjusters. height adjusters going just underneath the bonnet i did actually order them i don't think they arrived or i can't find them one of the two new ones are on their way so it's now a case get it up in the air get the splashes in it the wheel arch liners bolt all the under trays up and then i guess take it over get the air con gassed um tracking. tracking balancing see if it needs an mot etc etc but we've got no warning lights inside it now they've all gone out they all cleared none of them have come back on so so far so good let's move Sorry, on guys so i just watched that back and actually realized i repeated myself twice and that was purely down to the fact that we was doing it over multiple days now we ordered those bits from tps the next morning i've just rung them up and said when are they coming no fault of theirs whatsoever but the chap said I tried to get them on that Friday order, so they should be here at some point later this afternoon. And then Chris said, there's somebody buzzing at the gate. And the lady, the lady, the lady actually arrived with the rest of the parts to finish it off. So let's get it down off the ramp and actually get those fitted. And then I think that is it, pretty much. We are there with it. So, although I've just driven this here 10.1 miles, the car drives absolutely perfect. No vibrations, no wobbling, no pulling, no nothing. But I've had to come over and get the aircon gassed anyway, so I've called into A2 tyres. Of course, we're gonna have four wheel pressures done, four wheel balance, and then of course, four wheel alignment. So I'll let you guys know how we're getting on as soon as we, uh, I'll probably have a look once we get it on the ramp and see if there's actually anything out on the front. But even if there's a little tweak to be made rich is going to tweak it isn't he so we'll see how we get it shows on. you it's worth checking we wouldn't send a car out without checking it anyway but you said that's actually quite far out rich yeah so nigga it should be plus 10 plus 10 so with the steering wheel straight it's pulling to the left so we have to hold the wheel to the right so we've got negative 20 on the near side plus seven plus 18 on the off side but you'll get them bang on them we'll let you do your thing mate. everyone did mention First, I thought it was an insult. They said you need some bristles for your wire brush. Uh, nothing wrong with that wire brush. Plenty of life left on that. Yeah. Uh, no, that's that's for tight gaps, obviously in track rings and stuff. Um, if you've got a full-on wire brush, you might be able to get it in between the threads. You won't believe how many people mentioned well, it. Yeah. I thought I was on the back of your head, mate. I, no. But I'm not going to moan because I'm on my way there as well. My boss has moaned about this and said you need a new wire brush. No, nope, there's plenty of life yeah. in that. I need that. Like that. Lovely. We'll leave you to it, mate. All green. You know what green means, Rich, didn't you? Green means go. Good to go. Well done, mate. Thank you. Fortunately, it's like a wind tunnel where I am, and I didn't bring a mic, guys, so hopefully this is not going to be um, gale force wind blowing through. 
I was just about to pull away from having the tracking done. I went in the office and paid, ran the other side of the office. And someone said, what are you up to now, Rob? I said, I'm going to go to Queenborough, get the uh, aircon gassed, and then uh, go and get it cleaned. And they said, well, we can do your aircon gas. So I told them what I'll pay, and they're matching it here at A2. So kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Let's get it all done in one place. We have got six minutes 43 left yet on a vac. As long as it holds that back, they'll charge it, and then we can go and get it washed, and um, jobs are good at wind is horrendous it hopefully is. we're not going to pick that up we have got our uh, little fluffy covers on so fingers crossed but guys look at that just been an addict cleaned he he did say it's the dirtiest car well i think we come around this side out yeah. of that wind yeah it is quite bad that's not helping is it no shall we um i think we have to stand back where we was sorry guys you can tell we ain't got a film crew here with us no. so he did say it was probably one of the filthiest cars I've bought down there, and that was where it had been sat around for quite a while. It was a lot of, like, yeah. mould and stuff on the floor, but look at that. What a lovely, lovely turnaround, Chris. That really has turned out nice, hasn't it? Yep. And those um, insurance-approved pattern parts, they're actually a really nice fit as well. So it is all done. I actually took it round to Kent Auto Salvage and got him to knock off the locking wheel nuts because he does them day in, day out. He's so good at it. I'll just, he tried it, uh, I'll just explain to you how he did it with yeah. that axle stand and the bar and knocked all four of them off. And I've just literally, TPS have just arrived. I had to order four new wheel bolts for it, but didn't that come up lovely yeah, in has, there? It's cleaned up nice, hasn't it? Shame about those little scratches. Yeah, Strange one, that isn't yeah, it? like a bracelet, maybe or a bunch of keys, maybe. yeah. I don't know, but yeah, no, yeah, it's cleaned up well, hasn't it? Yeah, cleaned up. I mean, that was the worst bit down there, it was very, very manky. But I know that there's a little mark in the seat there, Chris, and that was there the day we got it. Yeah, it's a shame, it isn't is it? a shame because it is the only mark on the interior. And the only other thing I noticed, obviously, after it was cleaned, I'll show you. It's got quite a bit of bush rash on it, but yeah. would easily come out. None of it is right no. in the paint. So, yeah, overall, couldn't be happier with it. Guys, I know you, some of you are going to say, why have you got the SR UK plates on it? And that is purely out of respect for the person we bought it off, said, they, can you, we'd appreciate it if you don't show the reg, but... Well, I guess it's time to crunch the numbers, yeah, mate. Yeah, it's getting out of this wind. Yeah, definitely. Quite a lot of you said last time, game changer, the office. You really liked it. But what I will say is, we don't know from down here how good it is, how good the picture looks. So if you've got any suggestions or recommendations, of course, we always take them on board. It is blowing a gow out there today, so we've definitely come into the office because you can't even do it in the workshop because the door's blowing around. It is, yes. Cheap when we bought it, I think, Audi yep. Q5. Yep. Purchase price, £5,000 delivered. Probably, if it was salvage, it would have been about its money, I think. So the yeah. fact that it's not recorded is always going to go in its favour. Yep. Of course, loads of you do always reach out and say, but do you tell the next owner? Of course we do. Then when they want to sell it, do they tell the next owner? Unfortunately, we can't predict what they're going to do. We'd like to hope and think that they are going to let them know, but you just don't know, you know. The videos are out there forevermore, aren't they? They so. are indeed, yeah. Front panel, AMS. Now, guys, they did give us a discount, and it was quite hard to work this out because Chris said, well, shall I put the price? And I said, well, no, because then we're saying they're doing bits cheap. But 650 quid, they did do it cheaper than that for us. They looked after us and to, to help us out, and, of course, we give them a bit of a shout-out and put a link in the description. Well, including radiator, intercooler, it was air a conditioning, air condenser. Complete unit. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Fan, a lot. Yeah. Bonnet and two wings got them from Prasco and they was approved, insurance approved and it was the most expensive aluminium bonnet I've ever bought and I think you said the same but the bonnet and the wings come to £601.21p. You adding this up in case I'll get it wrong? Yeah, just, I'll just double checking. Alright. 
headlight repair kits. Oh, I still can't believe they are both the original headlights out of that car. And if you see where that car was it, you wouldn't expect the driver's side one to have made it, but it did. So headlight repair kits, bumper lower grills, etc. that we bought all from TPS come to £352.22p. Now the repair kits were probably 15 quid each. But those lower grills that go around them fog lights were expensive. They was over £100 each. Bump a foam absorber. And he noticed that last minute it was miss Well, it wasn't missing, but it had a big chunk missing off the end of it. £32 from TPS. Crash cans come from Eddie. The crash limiter come from Eddie. And the bumper also come from Eddie. Eddie doesn't... Um, he wholesales the bumpers and the other bits. He doesn't retail, so he wouldn't sell to the general public. And he actually hasn't charged us anything for any of them bits. And I know a lot of you say, you never, Eddie never charges you any money. And we've struggled in the past to get Eddie to take money, and that's the truth. Yeah, yeah. So what we do is we just wait till Christmas now, like we yeah. did this year, and really look after him at Christmas. In fact, I had to force it on him, but he, he eventually he took it. Right. That's all right. um, the front grill come from a subscriber and my phone's currently recording so I can't even shout his name out, I'm sorry and I've actually chased him up twice, how much we owe him for it he said make sure it fits first so we agreed on 50 quid and I think we saved 50 quid there because the cheapest one we could find was 100 wasn't yeah. it, so that was nice um, grill backing Another TPS thing, isn't it? Yep. Three, uh, £36.31. Headlight brackets, so the wings that go underneath, they come from TPS. And that was £102.2. And I know you're probably wondering why the TPS stuff is out of sync. The bumper absorber, we just noticed. And then brackets, we didn't know if they was going to arrive with the front panel. So we held off on ordering them. Yeah, 102 quid for them. Uh... Bonnet bumps, that's what I call them, the little adjusters there, £9.28 for all four. The air intake that arrived this morning, £22.74. Wheel bolts and front panel clips. So there's six little tiny black clips that hold the very last finishing panel on the top. It's got all your aircon sticker and all that on it. They was £1 each, but I had to buy four wheel bolts for it. So for the, I know that they said they was only a pound each, but... Those wheel bolts and that come to £48. The wheel bolts were £8 each plus that. Aircon gas just had done 60 quid. Tracking, they'd done four wheel balance, four pressures and alignment. 50 quid looked after us. The valet we just had done was 25 The paint shop that we used is actually one of Chris's close friends. He's normally very, very busy. Yeah but it will come up in the future. We've just done, done something really nice to do with him. Yeah, looking forward to that. And That's we are really money. looking forward to it. And he really looked after us, 750 quid. And it is a Rolls-Royce job. We got a total there of £7,789.45p. You just said you better have a look what they're making. And they're anything from 14, 15, 16. There's some on there for nearly 19 Depending on spec, mileage, etc. But I found a like for like one on there that was 14.8, wasn't it? And I said, well, we go with 12 grand then. Yeah. Asking price, we're going to try it, which is going to give us a pre tax profit of £4,210.55p. And that's what it's all about. That's nice, yeah. If we could yeah. have a few more like that. Yeah, it would be nice. It would be nice. But I mean, they can't all be. Can they? No, they can't. Swings and roundabouts, isn't it? Definitely. What I will say is there's obviously a higher interest in Audis than there is in a DS3. We can see that not everyone watched a DS3 video, but if you watch the DS3 video, you'll see we only come out of it with about a grand profit. But we do these cars in between doing the other cars, and that's kind of how it staggers out. While that's at paint, we're getting the bits for that one. Now, we only had a £1,000 on that car, but we had 4000 on this one. So that kind of evens out, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the way we work. A lot of people say, why don't you... I'm going to... Sorry, Chris, I'm going to waffle on for a minute. A lot of people say, why don't you count your hours, etc., etc.? And we don't work like that. We work... If the numbers add up at the end of the month, we, we could, we're ahead. If we wanted to, we could make a note on a job sheet, and we have every hour we spend on each project. Yeah. But 
we'd make no extra money and just spend our lives. Half an hour. Oh, what did we do that day? What yeah. Did, how much did I do on that today? We know, don't we, that we work hard, but at the end of the month, we always end up all right, don't we? Yeah, definitely. So yeah. far, so good. Touch wood. If we're still eating and the lights are still on, guys, we're doing you know, all right. So, yeah. you know. Anything to add, mate, to the video? I don't think so. How are you getting on in the new A6? Just quickly love before we go. Beautiful car. Yeah, love it. Love it. it. Drives really nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't fault that Mercedes estate, to be honest. No, I? which is That's now the gone. car I used as my everyday car, wasn't it, really? Yeah. And you couldn't fault that at all. But no. yeah, that A6 is, yeah. Another stunning. level. Yeah, stunning. Yeah. 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 You did say, though, about parking it. It's a big old bus. She's a big old shit. She's a big old bus, yeah. It is like parking a van. It's it is. that long, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so, it is. Yeah. yeah, well. Right, guys, that is the end of the videos on the Audi Q5, end of the series. Don't worry, lots going on in the background, lots upcoming, lots to look forward to. Don't forget, if you want to follow us on Instagram, it's Selvage Rebuilds. Follow Chris on his jollies, driving around in his new speedboat, Audi A6. It's Selvage Rebuilds, Chris. Like, subscribe and share and we'll see you all very, very soon in the next one.